When I knew I was going to be a teacher, I'd want to just be on the front lines in one of the most difficult districts to succeed in. You know, if you look at the demographic of our males, our young males, we really start losing them at this age for, for a number of reasons. If he's not at a place where he feels cared for and supported and safe, it's very easy for him to find sort of a negative circle of peers that give him that false care and, and we could lose him very quickly. I just didn't like the direction that uh, the previous school before I was here, that it was going in. I, it was really tough to get a collaborative group of teachers together on a regular basis to actually talk about a united front and you know what we're doing in the classroom at our school. The communication here has just been outstanding. It's been the best. I can't say enough about the guys that work here. I think they were looking for guys that were, were decent role models and that I don't want to say fight back, but almost not be pushed away by some of these guys' frustrations. Um, and I think that happens to a lot of teachers in the city. I've been intrigued by how years of working in the city, they're still able to, to put such positive spins on things. You know, when the teachers got together and we said, listen, I think we can do it with the teachers that we had here. You know, I look at science. It all starts from nine We had an open house. We didn't know how big it would be previously. In, you know, my other school's open houses and parent-teacher conferences. I'd feel like it was a su success if I had eight out of my 120 uh, sets of parents come in. Our first open house, we had 70 or 80 parents and community members come in, and they participated in community with us. Our kids ran through it perfectly. Last day, make a good one. Go up. Go up. Go up. Last one, make a good one. Go up. Go up. Go up. uniforms and the community that we do in the morning and you know the, the structure that we try to put into class was really going to turn things around quickly. It hasn't. I think we underestimate having, I remember walking through high school as a freshman and if I was walking down the senior hallway I was very careful about what I said. You know those were older kids, they kind of kept me in check. We don't have that so what we're seeing is sort of this egoism and our kids where they think they're the top dog and the kids don't want to wear their their uniforms on the bus which says a lot of things i know our kids have been hassled a little bit the ones that do wear the uniforms on the bus um, they don't want to wear them when they have to walk through co-ed school to get up to here so it's been interesting to watch at first obviously our kids took some took some hits you know uh, you hear the immature oh, they're all gay and you know as a freshman boy you really take offense to that and it really bothers you. No, I'm not. I want to get out of here. I don't want to be a part of this school. But I think it's fallen in quite nicely. I think when they first got here, it was a false bravado about, yeah, I'm at the Leadership Academy. And now I think they're finally starting to feel uh, connected to it. It's taken much longer than we thought it would. But I think a few of them are really starting to buy in and be proud of their school. Every new teacher learns that you really have to lay down the law in the beginning because you'll never be able to go back. Um, it's easier said than done. It really is. You have to learn to really be stern but almost loving at the same time. If I'm as honest with them and then I forget to grade an assignment the next day, they're a little more understanding. Oh, did you go to sub the other? Yeah. You know, really with these guys, they, it's almost like they need to hear it. They, they're hanging on your every word. They really honestly care about how you're doing. And then it's funny, if a guy starts mouthing off, the kids will kind of go after him. Hey, chill. You know, we need to give Brown a good day today. And that's kind of nice to hear. So, um, you know, being honest, being their friends at the right moments, and, that, and then being there their teacher and mentor at the right moment, I think, is something I've learned how to do well this year. I think they do see me as someone, and I think when you open up, you're showing them that you care.